Kelly Matthew Muteti is making his way to the Milimani Law Courts in Nairobi on a quest to seek justice. The 37 year old openly gay Muteti says he lost a half a million Kenya shillings, equivalent to about 4,000 US dollars plus other household items, when a man he met online and invited to his house drugged and robbed him. Muteti says he could not report the incident to police for fear of being prosecuted because of his sexual orientation. He says he was also fired from his job for raising the issue of his safety. But if it's discovered that you have a different sexual orientation, one, the police will either jail you that time, that point in time, or if you actually find someone who's slightly friendly, they'll try to investigate, they reach one stage, they'll ask him for more money. So in essence, you lose more than you gain. So you just leave that case. Same-sex relations are a crime in Kenya, punishable by up to 14 years imprisonment. According to GALC, the Gay and Lesbian Coalition of Kenya, social media and dating apps have provided generally safe spaces for members to meet and interact. But that is changing, says Kelly Kigera, GALC's emergency security response officer. When you're meeting a fellow queer person or a gay person, um, they cut fish you from the sites or from these uh, applications. And then when you're going to meet them, you find that they're blackmailing you because of your sexual uh, or your sexual orientation or gender identity. By this is where they try and roll money from you or out you to the public or beat you up or harass you or even rape you. Higera says GALC has recorded more than 1,000 cases of blackmail and extortion against their members in the last 12 months up from 50 cases recorded previously over a similar period. Kigera says the group wants safety and security parameters put in place to protect their members. We cannot limit people's uh, way of doing or way of their life of doing accessing this app. But there is an aspect of us making uh, people accountable, the people who are using this app, uh, the people who, are, who own their applications or the people who are more driven, or even the police officers, to open doors for people to report so that people can have justice. In February last year, Kenya's Supreme Court upheld the right of LGBTQ plus organizations to register in the country. The ruling has emboldened organizations like GALC to encourage their members to take some extortion and blackmail cases to court. Muteti, however, is not optimistic about getting justice. Only time our issues will ever, ever be heard is when someone who has a lot of empathy, who listens to our cases, and doesn't view us for our sexual habits and view us for the lifestyle that we are human beings. That is, only, that is the only time our court cases will be heard. Otherwise, for as long as we have heterosexual people who view us for the sexual habits we have, we will never have our cases heard. A bill recently introduced in the Kenyan parliament seeks to increase the maximum punishment for anyone found guilty of same-sex relations from 14 years imprisonment to death. Juma Majanga, VA News, Nairobi.